We're in the Tell Derby Creek Metro Park, which is about 10 miles west of downtown Columbus off of State Route This is the largest metro park in the state of Ohio. It's over 7,000 acres in size. We're in the northern part of the, of the park in one of our prey restoration areas here at Darby. The uh, restoration projects were conversions of farmland, and to date we've converted over 1,500 acres of farmland into Darby Plains Prairie using seed genetically native to the Darby Plains. It's the largest project, restoration project of this type in Ohio. The idea was, was to create a large undisturbed block of prairie restoration that would hopefully give us some visual idea of what the original Darby Plains prairies looked like that occurred west of Columbus. Well, bison were a part of the original prairie ecosystem, not only across the Midwest, but even into Ohio. Uh, a fair number of prairies extended east into Ohio. The area here west of Columbus, the Darby Plains, was the largest prairie area prior to settlement at about 380 square miles. And then the bison, they were grazers, main grazers in the prairie. They kept it grazed down for a number of other animals. If you have nothing out there eating the grass, it gets too thick and too thick for some of the birds and not some of the mammals that uh, would otherwise live, live there. First off, they're not buffalo. They are the American bison. Well, a buffalo is actually a different uh, genus. But in America, bison and buffalo are the same thing. Well, we have seven bison here that are just a, a great, so six of them are female. Uh, we brought in a male uh, late this summer, so we should have some baby bison in the spring. They, they range in age from four to 10 years old. They get quite large. The American bison is the largest North American land mammal that we have. Uh, a bull bison, the males, will reach up to 2,000 pounds. Uh, bison are active about 18 hours a day. Uh, they feed heavily. Uh, they'll feed well, maybe an hour, hour and a half or so, and then they'll stop and they'll chew their cud, just like a cow does. They are a member of the bovine family, so they're very closely related to cows. Normally, the females and the young stay in herds. Uh, there is a matriarchal setup to the herd. There's one usually very large cow who's in charge, and where she goes, the rest of the herd goes. Now the males, the bulls, they only come to the cows during the rut, the mating season. The rest of the time, the males either stay in small male herds or they're out by themselves. Uh, which one's the bull is the, one of the, the best questions right now because uh, he's not a large animal. You can't spot him right away. Uh, he's three years old. He hasn't reached that full 1,800, 2,000 pound mature level yet, and he seems to, to hang out with the girls. But uh, once you look at them for a little while, you can tell. Uh, his horns seem to go more straight up than the cows who have a tendency to curve in. Uh, he's a broader animal also. The, the bulls especially have a big beard in front of them. Uh, the, the cows do also, it doesn't seem to be as large. But during times of blizzards, they just turn and face the wind, close their eyes and put their head down. And that big beard and all that heavy wool fur on the front of them protects them. In the summer, uh, we have them in the prairie pastures. During the winter, we bring them down into the lower pastures to give them a break from the cold winter wind. We have two paddocks. We have a winter paddock, which they're in right now, which has cool season grasses in it, which stay green that they can uh, graze and digest over the course of the winter. And then in the summer, we move them up into one of our restored prairie areas of about 40 acres. And it has Indian grass, big blue stem, and some of the native prairie species, which they cannot digest once they die off and turn brown in the winter. We get lots of crowds still for this, and we're expecting even bigger crowds in spring when we get some babies out here. Uh, but people love them. They love seeing these big animals roaming the prairies of Ohio again.